So we have these two different arms of the kidney. One reacts to concentration changes, and the other reacts to volume changes. And we've talked about how the concentration change side works, so now let's talk about the volume side. So let's say you have an increase in your extracellular volume. What is that volume made up of? Well, it's mostly made up of water. There's going to be a lot of solutes dissolved in that water, but those solutes don't actually take up volume. It's the water that's taking up the volume. So you might think that to decrease that extracellular volume, to bring yourself back to normal, maybe what you should do is excrete some water. But the problem is, if you think about it, that's going to have a result which is that it's going to increase the concentration of sodium. And so now we're going to activate the first arm that we already talked about, which is going to say, well, look, I've increased sodium concentration, so I better hang on to water and increase the amount of water in the body so that I can dilute that sodium and bring myself back to a normal sodium concentration. So in other words, you try to excrete some water, but then this faster and more sensitive part of the kidney reacted to actually increase the amount of water back to where it was. So in other words, this mechanism does not work. So what does the kidney do instead? Well, instead of excreting water, what it actually needs to do is excrete sodium. Because if you excrete sodium, then what's going to happen to your sodium concentration? Well, it'll go down. And then, as a result, this, the first arm of the kidney that we already talked about is going to get activated. It's going to try to increase the sodium concentration back to what it was. And the way it does that is to excrete water. So in other words, excreting sodium here allows us to excrete water. If we tried to excrete water directly, it wouldn't work because it would increase our sodium concentration. So let's recap here because this is getting really confusing. So we have these two arms of the kidney. The first one will react to an increase in sodium concentration by doing what? By increasing the amount of water in the body. And it'll react to a decrease in sodium concentration by doing what? by doing the opposite, by getting rid of some water so that the sodium concentration will increase. And now the second arm of the kidney is going to react to an increase in extracellular volume by doing what? By excreting sodium. And it's going to react to a decrease in extracellular volume by trying to hang on to as much sodium as possible so that you can then hang on to water without diluting your sodium concentration. So in a way, this is totally reversed. It's kind of the opposite of what you would expect. You'd expect that to decrease sodium concentration, you would get rid of sodium, and to decrease volume, you would get rid of water. But it's actually the opposite. And the reason it's the opposite is that this first arm here, the kidney, this is the faster and the more important reaction that happens. Altering amounts of water is much faster and easier than altering amounts of salt. So the kidney is going to do that as quickly as it can to keep sodium concentration constant.